because sometimes you want it to really be about you. Mm -hmm. And if your company is going to be more than a lifestyle business, it's not about you. Right. Right. Your your DNA is in it and certainly is reflected in the, the way the company presents itself, the way people treat each other, et cetera. But it's bigger than you. I think one of the biggest things I've learned is that you have to be very careful that your passion or your ego is not in what you do. And it's very counterintuitive because as a young person growing up, I sat through countless meetings where executives would say, you have to be passionate about what you do. And I remember at the time being so stressed out about that because I didn't know what I was passionate about. Not because I didn't have a passion, I have lots. And so I remember sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, how do I decide? There's a lot of things I like. And what I realized by the time I did now account, my current company, is that if your passion and your ego is in the what that you do, you don't listen very well. Hmm. Because if I designed this mug and I showed it to you and said, have you seen this great thing I designed? And your immediate reaction is, oh, well, did you think about this? You could improve that. Mm -hmm. My immediate reaction is to defend it. Right. Because it's mine. It's like if your child was there and somebody said, oh, the child would look better if you right. change your, their shirt. Your immediate, it, and it's a visceral reaction. Right. It's not something you consciously do, but your visceral reaction is to sort of justify and defend what you've done. And so inherently you're not listening. Mm. But if your passion and your ego is in the so what that you're doing, not uh, the what, but mm. the so what, which is the impact or the influence, then you're much more open to suggestions because the what doesn't matter. If you, if you lose focus of the impact, and in my case, what I call the so what, and focus more on the what, then I think you limit your potential.